When I was a boy, I loved sci-fi movies. Especially this one. This could be the beginning of the end for the human race. For what men first thought were meteors or the often ridiculed flying saucers are in reality the flaming vanguard of the invasion from Mars. Looks like they're going to come out of that gully pretty soon. We'll have to rush our defenses to be ready when they do. We're going to need plenty of reinforcements. We'll get them. Lieutenant! Look! We welcome you! We're friends! Yeah! Rushing to defend the Earth against the unknown weapon of the super race from the Red Planet. My little friends and I would reenact the Martians setting the soldier on fire with their death ray. We used a magnifying glass and some toy army men. I can still smell the burning plastic. A half a century later, I'm still inspired by the power of the sun when focused. This is my homemade parabolic trough solar powered water heater. Currently, I have it hooked up to a hot tub in my backyard. The hot tub is 100% heated by the solar collectors. This is a completely self-contained system that needs no external power. The control system and the motors are powered by batteries that are charged by the sun. I made the parabolic reflectors from plans I bought on the internet. This kind of solar collector is called a concentrator because the parabolic shaped mirrors focus the sun onto a pipe filled with water, causing the sun's rays to be concentrated onto the pipe at 20 times normal strength. It's similar to how a magnifying glass works in the sun. Just like the magnifying glass trick, the challenge of a parabolic concentrator is keeping it pointed directly at the sun. To do that, you need a control system that can read sensors and control motors. The control system I chose is Arduino. I chose the Arduino because of its low cost, open source community, easy programming and availability of inexpensive sensors and relays. The Arduino turns relays on and off to control the motors that circulate the water and move the solar array. The array of collectors is motivated by a 12-inch linear actuator. I had to replace an earlier contraption because it was too unreliable and complicated. This linear actuator has auto shutoff on both ends and has a built-in position sensing potentiometer. The linear actuator is attached to a little car I made using shower door wheels. The little car moves the collectors back and forth. To track the sun, I used the top of a solar garden light. I made a hood for the sensor, so it only sees the sun if it's directly shining down this lid. As it moves, a shadow is created by the hood onto the solar sensor, telling it when to stop. It moves every five minutes all day long, tracking the sun across the sky. If it is sunny when it starts moving, the Arduino moves until it sees a shadow. The tricky part is dealing with clouds. There are actually very few days when it's sunny continuously all day. There is another sensor, which checks if it's sunny, cloudy, or rainy. It is a light-dependent resistor housed in the lower half of a solar garden light. A spice bottle is used for rain shield. So if the sun darts behind the cloud, the Arduino moves for a predetermined time. I programmed the control system to track the sun all day and then return to the east-facing position awaiting the next day. On a sunny day, the collector can raise the temperature of the hot tub 12 degrees in 4 hours. I'm so happy with the results. Oh, 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 oh.